I don't have any regrets because all of the things that happened to me in my life have led me to where I am now, which is exactly where I'm supposed to be. But if I had to tell myself something, I think I would say it's not about you. And I think that means like two different things. Like first, it's exactly what, you know, my husband told me when he tossed me the book, he said, it's not your fault. Like you got to read Annie's book. It's not my fault. It was not about me. And also I'm doing this because it's not about me. It's about my kids and the future that I want them to have. It's about my friends and family or even anyone I don't even know who's hearing this. If someone just relates and they are going to go pick up the book or just decide to stop drinking and start that for themselves. Like that's what this is about. Life is for me so full and so bright right now. Someone else said this on your podcast too. <laughs> like is someone spiking my drink because I feel like I'm drunk, but I'm not. I have that feeling all the time. And it is truly, it's something I hope everyone can experience and can feel if alcohol has been taking that away from them. Um, and it was for me for, for so long. I was sad and I didn't like who I was. And now I love who I am. I love my life. And I just want to share my story as much as I can in a way that I hope people feel is you know, accessible. And, and that's what I loved about your book too. It never felt like I was being lectured. Like you need to stop drinking. This is horrible. Can't you see you're ruining everything? Like it was so practical. And every page I turned was just like nodding my head, nodding my head. Like, no, this is what I want. Like, I don't want any of that old life anymore. So that's what I'd go back and tell myself. There is a greater purpose out there. It's not about you and you'll get there.